Good evening, here we go, guys. Mick here from my cartel. Back another kick ass beer review. Today I'm going to review one of my own. A, it's a very different sort of uh, beer, this one. Experimental, like a lot of the stuff that I, I do here at Op Cartel. Um, and also with uh, Unicorn Brewing Project. Go and check out that other channel if you, you get around to it. If not, so be it. Too easy. Um, this one is a lager. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the recipe too much, uh, but I'm going to say um, there's some unusual ingredients in this particular beer. Um, I couldn't find recipes online anywhere that may have used these sorts of ingredients. Um, one of them quite common would be commonly used in, in beers um, a long time ago, even right up until present day, and that is lemon zest. Um, we see things like the the uh, yuzu fruits and those sorts of IPAs coming out uh, recently with Stone and Wood and their um, and their uh, yuzu fruit wheat. Uh, so, but big glass. This is uh, probably one that hasn't been seen for a long time. It is a uh, Blue Tongue Brewing tall glass, lagerish top glass that leads me to the style of this. A lager that I've brewed um, using lemon zest and green peppercorns yes very different uh, very still pretty much left field sort of thing it takes me back to a, uh, a particular dish that I had quite a long time ago with uh, an old friend who uh, is no longer with us and that um, that dish was um, a stuffed uh, chicken breast uh, lemon zest and, and green peppercorn stuff in with that so a lot of my beers come from inspiration from 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 you know a long time ago when growing up and, and doing certain things and um, I don't know you have good memories and memories are not so good but uh, they tend to lead you down the road of uh, sometimes inspiration towards those things that are much within your hobby so for some people it's art painting drawing that sort of thing um, they do that to help uh, alleviate some of that um, those uh, those sorts of memories uh, help them get through certain things uh, so this one i'll never forget that particular dish that uh, an old friend had, had, had cooked for us uh, on a certain night uh, way back when so i pull this one up um, and talk about the beer. Lemon zest and green peppercorn. I wasn't going to put chicken in it. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. But those two ingredients that, uh, that form a huge part of that particular that particular dish, I could see going into a into a beer, uh, particularly a, a lager, um, and I've not had very much luck in doing lagers that um, that have clarity um, and have really good carbonation and things that go on so um, this is from over six months ago it, it's been sitting for a long time um, it was lagered in the in the in the fermenter and also lagered in the keg so call it the forgotten keg it hasn't really been forgotten it's been sitting there it's been playing on my mind for quite a while um, um, and uh, here it is look at that carbonation absolutely beautiful in that glass it just has so much going on there a little bit of haze there on the glass but oh man oh, I'm really really happy with the way this one's turned out uh, on the nose Now green peppercorns aren't exactly um, like red and black peppercorns, white peppercorns for, for that matter. Um, the greens come along, come across a little bit more fruitier, um, almost like a, a zest within themselves. So coupling that with a zest of, of, uh, of a fruit. Now use this sort of 
uh, adjunct or additives to a beer, like a like a wheat that would use um, something like coriander seeds and and, and lemon zest. Um, oh, sorry, orange zest would would be very much the same. So, just bringing it over into a different style. And being a lager was also one of our most favourite um, our favourite beers. Uh, I could think back, you know, we're talking 20... 1999 to 2001 um, when we had our best days and uh, they were they were awesome days, you know, just skylarking, horsing around, um, so much fun back then. So our favourite beverage of the time coupled with a meal I've never, you know, I've never been able to replicate it myself. Um, a stuffed chicken breast with with uh, lemon zest and black, uh, sorry, green peppercorn um, stuffing. Um, tried a couple of times. I'll doubt to try again. Uh, here we go. So um, lemon zest. That it's very subtle um, compared to the other peppers, but it's definitely there. You know, if you know what green peppercorns are like, uh, particularly um, uh, brined green peppercorns as that's what we used in the recipe um, for, for the actual dish. If you know what that smells like then you're going to pick it up in this beer and it's not just me saying that, that I know it's in there and, and it's my mind telling me that, I'm, I'm genuinely saying that um, you do pick it up in the aroma. Man, it is it is so good, so good on the nose. Let's go in for a taste. Now, once again, the only hops that went into this was a, was a was the SARS hops. At the at the top, so just for a little bit of bitterness, but a little bit of spiciness as well, um, because you're going to get that from the green peppercorns. Um, you're going to get that sort of bite from the from the uh, the, the lemon zest, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's very much there as a background flavour. Um, it does sort of take over any sort of flavors that are coming from the hops I, I believe it's more of that lemon zest and and green peppercorn so um i'm absolutely blown away boy how that you know like that it's it's easy drink look at the carbonation on that you know like That and off the keg, you know what I mean? Like I've just, it's just sat, you know. Like I've kept an eye on the on the pressures and 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 so forth, just making sure that it, it does um, it absorbs as much as what it needs to, and the pressure's constant and um, it's fresh and, and 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 vibrant. There's been no real hot side to it in the time it's been from the fermenter to the to the keg and then into the into the keyser here. Um, wow. basic lager recipe um, once again those additions of the the extras the lemon zest and the green peppercorns they've all come in at the end it's 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 more more of a process in the end of the beers where a lot of these flavors are coming from and I didn't try it I just didn't try it I, I, I just uh, as much as I, I, I thought you know I'd be dipping into it here and there trying to work out whether something was going to work I decided to do this with this keg, got another keg there it's got a, a, quite a similar beer for, for different reasons um, that I, I didn't touch either from fermented to the keg it was let's just let's just go with a surprise um, that far out has really surprised me like I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely blown away by that mm. And let that one sit there. Christmas around the corner. Got the street party coming up. Um, I think 
the neighbours are really going to love this. Uh, go ahead, give it a go. Basic, go and look for a basic lager recipe um, and play around with uh, out of your ordinary sorts of ingredients. I think, um, and if there's anyone can find a similar recipe to this, uh, shoot it through to me. Whack it in the comments, I'd like to look at it um, and see just how good, how, how close I was to just, um, just sort of plucking something out of the air and turning into something so amazing. Cheers!